Hi, I'm John with Tinker With Us. So here I'm going to show you how I process a DXF file for my Glowforge. I'm going to download this DXF file for a robot arm that I want to build with my kids. And then I will find a DXF to SVG converter online. I prefer the online converters. You can do this within Inkscape or um, Illustrator, I'm sure but this is for me the easiest way to convert a file so I'm just gonna upload the DXF file that I got from Thingiverse and then it will process and then provide me a download link for the SVG file so here I'm just gonna download it and then we'll pull it up into Inkscape and make sure that the scaling is correct and clean up any items so that we can send the file over to our Glowforge. Here, let me just find the file to open the SVG. So this file has a very handy scale. It has some text saying that the frame should be 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters, which is essentially 8 inches by 12 inches. But I'm just going to do a quick measure to make sure what the converted file is showing. And as we switch over to millimeters, it is showing that it is 184 or something like that millimeters so I need to scale this image up so I need to scale so that just the frame is 300 millimeters the easiest way to do that is to just remove all of the exterior text so that the image is only the bounding frame and all of the interior items once we have just the bounding frame and all of the interior items we can group all of those elements together into a single item and then just use the scale feature of Inkscape to bring our drawing to the correct um, size. So I'm just grouping everything back together. Select it, make sure that the aspect ratio lock is on, change our units to millimeters, and then enter in our desired width, which is 300 millimeters. So here I'm just removing some of the extraneous text so that I don't have to laser that. And then we will go to document properties and then just make sure that the uh, resize the canvas to the drawing selection and then just change the units to all millimeters for convenience. We save this file and then we can bring it into the Glowforge user interface. Here, here's the home page for the Glowforge user interface and then just find the file and upload it. It will upload and process the design and then show us a preview of our print bed. So here we didn't change any of the colors so all of the elements are a single workflow so they would all be a cut. The, this file has callouts for text, so all of their numbers on all of the pieces. And so I want to have those done as a score or an engraving. So it just goes part way through, and then all of the items are done as a cut. So here I'm just going to select all of our numbers and then change the stroke color, basically the color of what the numbers are drawn in, in into a uh, red, just so I can easily see. So, you, so now all of the uh, numbers are red. I think I missed a couple. I'm going to go back through and find those and make sure that those are red as well. So what I want to do is essentially separate out all of the different types of cuts to different colors 
that I can then process within the Glowforge UI. So this will enable me to select a score or engraving for all of the numbers and then I can process all of the cuts in a separate layer essentially. So I'm just changing this last number to red as well. And I prefer to have all of our internal elements cut first before any of the outside shapes are cut. This enables um, better alignment of the uh, interior cuts versus the exterior cuts. If we cut all of our outside elements first, um, sometimes the bed is not always level and the uh, pieces will drop and then the internal elements are offset somewhat. So I just selected all of the outside cuts and changed those to a blue color and we'll save the file and we'll bring it back into the Glowforge UI and then you will see that I now have options for uh, cut and then score so here you see the whole file but now we have different elements on the left hand side so I, I'll bring that into the center of the bed and then I can reorder the or order of uh, actions um, by just dragging and dropping so I want the engrave or score options to be done first and then I will cut all of the interior elements second and then I will cut all of the exterior elements last so that as it cuts all of the exterior elements the piece has not moved or shifted or dropped which can happen as you cut through a piece and that is my workflow for taking a DXF file to a laser cut finished product. So this was just a free design that I wanted to build with my kids and how I process it for my Glowforge. Thanks for watching. Bye.